one up. I really like it. Uh, I wish you were here. You know, it's one of the songs on this record. I guess it's uh, Incubus or however you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Just thought I'd start it off with that. Okay, we left off. Welcome to uh, part four, by the way. We left off here with Brian Eno, and this is his record. I think it's '74. Here come the Warm Jets, and uh, this is on the reissued now in a Japanese. Uh, label and it sounds really nice. The original one on the island, the Canadian press, wasn't all that fantastic. This one here sounds a lot better. And this is a good record. It, you know, Eno's got a lot of records out, but this is the Eno record that I have, besides some of the Roxy Music stuff. This is Eno's on here. This is really good. Babies on Fire and stuff. If you haven't heard that, man, you need to check it out. Okay, and here's uh, Enya. And I like this record. It's got that Orinoco flow on it. Really, really nice, and you know she sings the, herself, and she puts layer upon layer of her voices on here, and so it, it's pretty deep, you know, in music-wise. Uh, that's a good one. David Essex, Rock On. It's got uh, that old 70s hit, Rock On, on it, and uh, the title track, really good. Good record. Far Out. This band's called Far Out. This is a Japanese band, and... Uh, they do some pretty pretty cool stuff on this record, so it's worth again checking it out on YouTube. See if you like that or not. And then of course we got some fine young cannibals. They were, they're pretty pretty good. Got a few of those. And then the fix. I like the fix. Reach the beach. And uh, that's the one. That's the only one I have now of the fix. There was a couple, but I got rid of them. I got that one now. This is Finch. They're another one of those. They're like a. It's a prog band. But it's, it's pretty good. It's got good keyboards and good guitar work and stuff on there. And then we get to Fleetwood Mac. You know, I don't have a lot of Fleetwood Mac. I have this one. This is a really nice one. Uh, Tango in the Night. And I have one of the little the 70s one. This one here, Fleetwood Mac. I like this one. That's a good one. Of course, it's on a Japanese again. Okay, Flock of Seagulls. You know, I ran. It's got pretty, I mean, 80 stuff. Pretty good. Okay, now we're into the another Japanese group called the Flower Traveling Band. And uh, this first one that they put out, it's actually, they've got like a Black Stay cover. I got a cover tune for Black Sabbath. Now, that's what they're, they're pretty heavy. Good guitar work and that on there. It's interesting. That's an interesting record too. I've got it in the collection. It's a good record. And then I've got, let's see what we've got on here. A little bit of that Gene Loves Just Build That Heartache, that song. That's a good rock song there. It's a good one. Rock out. Okay, now we get into some Genesis. And I've got the uh, a couple from the uh, the 80s. Duke. And now they got a couple of catchy tunes on there. But now, of all the Genesis records that are out there, this is my favorite one. And this is on the Classic Records reissue, in that 200 gram. Uh, vinyl, really, really nice sounding record, uh, and by far the best Genesis record of any of them. And now, if I, as long as I've got that, you know what? That's it. There's no more Genesis in here. All the rest of it, I don't even need it. Now, a Gentle Giant. If you haven't heard of them, they've got a bunch of records out there too, and I had a bunch of them, but it's down to Freehand, this this Gentle Giant record, and In a Glass House, and this is on the you know the WWH label just like that Black Sabbath record that I had that I really like and a UK and it's got a die cut cover and all that's really nice I've got these two left of all of the uh, of all of those uh, Gentle Giant records that I had those are the two I think are the best ones and here's something interesting you know I'm not going to have you know, there's a lot of bands I don't have you'll notice when we go through this you know I'm not into the sticks or the cars or the Culture club and all that, but you know what? Look at this, Boy Joy, Boy George. It's the title. It's the movie for the soundtrack. It's that Crying Game when he sang that song in there. And on this, it's got the Crying Game, and it's got I specialize in loneliness, and it's on a 45 RPM speed record. Wow, very dynamic. Sounds fantastic, and they do a good. He does a good job of that song, the Crying Game, on there. I, I like it. It's, it I pull it out quite often. If I want to do like a demonstration record or something, something that really sounds great, I can put that on there, and that just really sounds good. 
and then uh, Bobby Gentry, or the Billy Billy Joel. You know, I list, I had this song, this record since I'm a kid. I really, I like that that song. And here's a band. This band I reissued label called Glory. It's one of those kind of rock and blues, older '70s type records. Some golden earrings. Of all the golden earrings that I've had, I've had a lot of them. I've still got this one in hearing, hearing earring. Of course, you got to have Radar Love. Golden Earring Moon Tan. This is Moon Tan for Radar Love and all that. Candy's Gone Bad. This is by far the best uh, Golden Earring record. If you don't have this, is on a first edition UK. I think they've reissued it, but I'm, I'm happy with the sound of this pressing. And then I just bought this now on the Japanese label. This is the, another really great Golden Earring record. Um, it's got that Twilight Zone on here. Really, really, really good song. So that's another golden earring record to check out. And then this one, Switch, that's another good golden earring record. I've kept that one. And uh, To the Hill, that's a good one. And then the first one, The Golden Earring, they called it. And I like that one too. That's all the golden earrings. So. And now we're into the Grand Funk Railroad. Survival, that's just a regular... Uh, okay. So now we're into E Pluribus Funk. It came out on that coin record, but this is the Japanese uh, version, and it's rare because it's got that OB sticker on here. You can only get that. It's on the shrink. So, you know, most people throw the shrink away, then you lose the OB. So it was pretty hard to get that with this, you know, this black backer and that. And I waited, I, you know, I got a good deal on it. I wasn't going to spend, you know, $100 or 50 bucks or something around there. So I bought it, I got it, I've got that. It sounds fantastic, of course. And I like that record, that's a really good record, I like that. On Time. And then I got the Red LP. I think that's their second or third record, that's really good. And then, we go with this one, Closer to Home. This is what I think is their best record, of course. And, uh... I bought this. This was the first record I ever bought for myself. I went down to the drugstore, Hanson's Drug, it was a Ben Franklin or something drugstore, or a, a five and dime store, pardon me, it wasn't a drugstore, it was a five and dime store. I paid three ninety nine for this. I was probably 13 or something years old or whatever it was. And the first record I ever bought for myself. And uh, I still think it's, what, it's one of my favorite records. It's got a lot of really, really good songs on it. If you don't ever have any Grand Funk or you've got maybe some of the newer ones, go back, pick this up, listen to it on YouTube. Really good. Guitar work and everything. And now, I, I don't have it on the Japanese because it's another one of those. It's on the red vinyl, uh, Japanese, and they're wanting three, four hundred dollars whatever. It's crazy price. But you know what? They've got this one. It's the best of Grand Funk, and it's an early one. It's on the Green Capital label, so you know it's the same, it's the same uh, years as that one. And it's got most of the songs that this record has on it. So you get that first edition Japanese sound without having any, you know, you can pick these up for probably 25, 30 bucks. So you get all that great sound, that, but you don't have, obviously, have the record, but you got most of the songs on there, so I'm happy with that. And then the Grand Funk, the live album. Great. Probably one of the top five live albums ever done. It's a great record right here. Okay, now we're going to get into some some kind of what they call psych, I guess, and a very collectible band. These are again on the Swirl label, and we've got Gravy Train on the Vertigo Swirl. Uh, unless you want to spend three hundred dollars or more, you're not going to get this on a nice copy on the UK Vertigo Swirl. So what I did, there's a, a Korean company, Swai Song, and I've got this on the Swai Song label. I bought it brand new. I think I paid 20 bucks. And I also had this on a German original vertical swirl, and the Swai Song sounded better. So that's how good of a, of a sound that they've got on there. So I've got this Gravy Train record, and I've got this one, uh, Ballad of a Peaceful Man. And I just saw this on eBay. I was looking through some of the swirls, and I saw this on eBay a couple weeks ago. I mean, it's like five, six hundred dollars for a first edition. Uh, that's what those swirls go for. It's a crazy price. So again, this is another one of those Swai Song, and it sounds really great. And even on the Swai Song, these are hard to find. It's hard to get. 
Norman Greenbaum, Spirit in the Sky. Yeah, we all love that song. That's a great, great record there. And now we're going to get to a group a lot of people might not know about, but it's one of those really good groups. It's called Groundhogs. And this is, I think, their first record. It's called Blues Obituary because they were, first of all, a blues group. But their, their, their direction is changing. They're going to be like a, a rock, rock and blues, kind of like that, you know, um, some of those other groups. A lot of the groups from the early 70s had that. So this still is still a, a blues record, but they're, they're letting you know this is the last time we're going to be playing the blues, on, and that's really good. Then you've got Hogwash, good record. Split, that's on a reissue, that's really nice. Thank Christ for the Bomb, another reissue. That, I think that's on the BGO. Yeah, I like those BGO reissues that they did in the 80s. They really, really are nice. From their UK reissues. And then Who Will Save the World, another good one. Crosscut Saw, another Groundhogs. Black Diamond. So yeah, they've got a lot of good records. Check out the Groundhogs, I know you'll like them. Here's an interesting record. If you'd like to guess who. Now this is a Friday Music is reissued. I used to have this on a first edition. I think it was a US press. Sounds really nice. They did, you know, they, uh, RCA label, they did a really nice you know, RCA is another one of them groups, uh, I mean labels, they put out, they had some pretty good sound on it. Everybody's going, oh, them Dynaflex records, they weren't any good. But I know, I always like the sound on them. Well, of course, this is reissued, and it's really, really nice. They did a good job. It sounds great. Friday music. And if you like to guess who, you don't have to collect all the records at the early ones because all the good songs are on this one, you know, the best of, the, or the first best of. And then, of course, I've got a few other guess who. This is the Japanese version of that record which is almost impossible to find anywhere. And then, of course, we come to So Long Bannatine, which is a little bit after that. And an uh, interesting story about this record that I always tell my kids is that I used to know a girl. I lived in Winnipeg, and this is on Bannatine Avenue, and I used to know a girl that lived in that bottom apartment down here, so I have actually been in that building, which is kind of cool. And, of course, got the old Manitoba license plate and all the, all the cords you see hanging out the front that's so they can uh, plug their, their engine, their car in. They've got a little, little heating element inside the motor, so when it's 40 below zero, the, the, all the water doesn't freeze in your car and, and crack the block. So that's, that's what all that's about. Okay, now we've got the Guess Who, Share the Land. Another really good record. Got some good tunes on it. Of course, that's not on the best of. And that's it for the Guess Who. I mean, if you've got those records, you probably got all the really the best of the Guess Who stuff. Gun. This is a, uh, a really good record here. It's got a cool cover on it, and they got a couple really good songs on here that I like to listen to from time to time, so I know you'll appreciate it. Okay, now we've got one of them gems again, one of them records that, you know, top five record of all time. It's called Alex Harvey Band, and again, guess what? He's on the swirl. Just his first couple was on the swirl because this is like 1972, this record. So he's right on the edge of where they had the swirl, and they didn't have it. So some of the first copies that came out were on the Squirrel, but most of the copies you'll see of this record, the UK imports and all that, they're all on the spaceship label. But if you're lucky enough, if you'll notice, we'll look at the look at the difference between one's got kind of a, a dark purpley, and this is like a white purple. And this is, it's not a die cut cover, this one is. It's got that little die cut window. Now this one is a UK copy, and it's on the spaceship label, but this is a first edition German on the swirl. Wow, this is on the swirl label. I mean, I looked for 15 years trying to find a swirl. You can't find them, but I finally found one on the German swirl. And it's minty, you know, you can tell. Look at the cover and everything. The records are, are almost flawless. Really happy that I got that. That's his first LP. Uh, Alex Harvey put out a couple records before that, Alex Harvey and a soul band, but this is the the, Alex, the sensational Alex Harvey band. So this is his next record, of course, it's called Next. And this is on a, there's a lot of different kind of versions of this one too. This is a, a Canadian first edition on the Swirl label, which is kind of hard to get. And then I've got another copy of it. This is a, a Japanese copy. This is a Japanese copy with the black, you notice the other one had the orange and black, now we're at the gray and black. And originally, when they came out in the UK, it was silver and black, but this was on a foil cover. 
And those foil covers are hard to get nice because they're always got some kind of wear on them. So that I've got the Japanese and I've got the swirl. So I'm happy with that. Now we come to the next one that came out. Alex Harvey, The Impossible Dream. And again, this is a U.S. cover, but the rest of the world never had this cover. It only came out like this in the United States. The rest of, rest of the world had this cover. Canada, uh, the Holland presses. This is a U.K. copy, and I think this is better. It's, it's, a, it's, and it's all, also a gatefold, which the U.S. copy wasn't. But the songs on, all, on, this, on, these, on these records are Next, Impossible Dream, uh, Framed, I'm telling you. They are fantastic. It's like those first three Blue Oyster Cult records. Great, great musicianship songs. Uh, I really, really love those records. And then Tomorrow Belongs to Me. It's not as strong as the other ones, but he's still got some really good songs on there. And then we still have, these are still good. Sob Stories, Rock Drill, Mafia Stole My Guitar, and then the soldier on the wall, which was his last one. Those are all still good ones, but they're not as strong, I said, as the other ones. And I haven't listened to them as much. I always kind of go back to the first ones. It's kind of like the David Bowie. You know, I always go back to those ones when I was in high school. Okay, now we got Bo Hansen. This is a progressive record. Magic Hat, mag Magician's Hat, I mean. I like this record. That's another good one. And what are we going through here next? Oh, boy, here we go. Hawkwind. You haven't heard of Hawkwind before? Great. This is like another top five band for me. Hawkwind is really good. And of course, they put out a plethora of records. They've got a multitude of them. But I always go back, like I say, the first stuff when they first came out. This one, Do Re Mi Fa, Do Re Mi Fa, So La Ti Do. You know, that's really good. And this is a Japanese one. It doesn't have the OB strip because I don't want to pay 300 bucks for the record. I think I paid like 50 bucks for this one in this mint. Now, when we go to, okay, here's, this is interesting. This is brand new. This is In Search of Space. And this is, uh, this is actually the record that I got turned on to, I think it's 73. This is the first one I ever heard of them. And it's probably still my favorite one. That in that, that first one I showed you. That, and I, uh, I used to have a UK copy of this first edition it came with a book it had a book in it and that book was always really collectible to get so I had that and then I was lucky enough I found one on eBay a Japanese one with the OB and I got I paid like 50 bucks for it I couldn't believe it the guy was going VG VG and I'm looking at all his records were, were VG and the, the cover looked mint and he was like a kind of a new seller so I, I took a chance on it and when I first played it it had a little bit of uh, you know some dust crackles on it so I cleaned it up really good and it cleaned up perfect it was quiet it was the first edition. It was like near mint. And so I bought this one. And this one sounded as good or better than that Japanese one. That's how good this, this back on black, man, they do. And it's colored vinyl, which I, I don't care if it's colored or not. That to me doesn't make any, any difference. But it's kind of cool. And uh, But the sound on it, you know I me, mean, that's what I'm interested in. This one sounds really good. I put that one on eBay, that Japanese one. I think I got about almost 200 bucks for it. So that helps me, you know, buy other other reissues. Good for the PayPal account, right? And then we have this one. This is the live LP. And this kind of puts all those other stuff, and they put it on this live record, but er, all the early stuff. And so I really like this. Now, we're gonna, this is going to be the end of part four, and we're going to start part five. Thank you very much for watching.